Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, I am starting a new series for the subject cellular networks. This is the subject for third year ENTS students. The first chapter is introduction to wireless channel. As the name indicates, it is a wireless that means the transmission of the signals may be through the free space without using any wire. The first part is free space propagation model. Before starting this, I would like to tell you what is this propagation model. We know that in case of a, a normal communication, there is a transmitter antenna, transmitting antenna at the transmitter side, receiving antenna at the receiver side. Before the signal reaching at the receiver side, there are so many types of losses in between. So different mathematical models are designed to predict the number of losses taking place between transmitting and receiving end. These models are known as propagation models out of which one propagation model is free, uh, free space propagation model. So we will start with the standard formula that is free, free space equation. It is given by P R of D, P stands for power, R stands for received power. So this is received power. D small d is the distance between transmitting and receiving antenna. The formula is, this is the standard formula. P T Z T, P T is transmitted power, G T is gain of transmitting antenna, G is gain, T suffix T indicates gain of transmitting antenna. Same way, G R is gain of receiving antenna. We have lambda square term in the numerator. Lambda is the wavelength. We know that the standard formula of wavelength is C by F. And here C is the speed of light if the propagation is taking place through the free space and it is given as 3 into 10 to 8 meters per second. L is the system loss factor. L is approximately equals to 1. In ideal cases, if I will take L is equals to 1, this L term can be skipped. So as I mentioned, this is known as the free space free space equation. Any communication that is taking place through the free space is governed by this equation which I have denoted it as equation number one. As I mentioned, D is the distance between transmitting and receiving antenna, actual distance. Suppose I want to calculate the power at some other distance D0. What's D0? D0 is any other distance which is in between transmitting and receiving antenna, D is actual distance up to receiving antenna. So D0 is any distance in between transmitting and receiving antenna. So by making use of equation 1, let us say at distance D0, the received power is denoted by P0. So making use of equation 1, I can write equation of P0 as PT, GT, GR, lambda square, numerator term I have kept it as it is, 4 pi square, in place of d square, now I have to put the distance d0 square into L. Keep in mind, L is not the length. L is the system loss. D is actually distance. Now, if I will transfer this d0 term at the LHS. So, if I will transfer this d0 term at the LHS, new equation will be p0 d0 square is equals to pt gt gr lambda square upon 4 pi bracket square into L. For the simplicity, let us divide both sides by D square. So I will write it here, divide both sides by D square. So I will get P0 D0 square upon D square is equal to this numerator term is as it is PTGTGR lambda square upon 4 pi bracket square into L. What I said, I am dividing both sides by D square. If I will divide this term by D square, then D square will appear over here because I am dividing it by D square. So I will get this equation. Look at equation number 1. It is said as equation number 1. So I will write it over here. So since it is said as equation number 1, I can write the new equation of this PR of D is equals to P0 D0 square upon D square because I have got this equation which is same as equation number one. So for the simplicity I will write it like this P0 into D0 by D bracket square. If I want to express these values in dB I have to take 10 log so 
I will write it like this P R of D in dB that is in decibels. How it is obtained? Take 10 log log to the base 10 of both sides. So 10 log of P0 into D0 by D bracket square. Now this is 10 log of this term. Use the standard procedure. I mean if you have you have multiplication of values inside the logarithmic then it becomes plus. So I can write it like this 10 log of P0 plus 10 log of T0 by T bracket square. This is a bracket square. Use the logarithmic rule. This two I can well transfer like this. I mean this two can be transferred over here. So it becomes 20. So I will cancel this two and I will write this term as 20. One more simplification I can do. I can write it like this. 10 log of P0 minus 20 log of d by d0 what i did i took the reciprocal it is d by d0 if you take the reciprocal then this plus sign becomes this is a logarithmic so sign changes to minus sign actually this is plus sign it becomes minus sign so this is the relationship between pr of d in terms of db and p0 where d is the distance between transmitting and receiving antenna now there is one more term related to this which is known as the path loss all these terms are required for solving the numericals so there is one more term which is known as path loss as the name indicates path is the medium through which the signals are transmitting and amount of losses taking place is denoted by path loss it is denoted by pl in terms of db in decibel units, it is given as minus 10 log of PR upon PT. Minus 10 log of PR upon PT. PR is same as PR of D. Since it is function of distance D, I have expressed it as PR of D. Now, if I will divide this equation by uh, PT and we will consider ideal value of L. Just now I mentioned ideally L is equal to 1. Then this term can be cancelled. So, uh, simplest equation for path loss can be written as minus 10 log of look at the formula pr is same as pr of d so pr upon pt so this term gets cancelled so you will get minus 10 log of gt gr lambda square upon 4 pi bracket square I use square bracket over here into d square this is the formula to calculate the path loss in terms of db now from the uh, for solving the numericals one more equation uh, you should know that is known as the fraunhofer region fraunhofer region so fraunhofer region is given by df it is the region or in you can say in the simplest language it is the range which is given as 2 d square capital d square upon lambda where lambda is the wavelength and capital d is largest largest physical dimensions of antenna so this is the equation i mean this is the free space propagation model now we'll solve few numericals to get insights of this model the given question is find received power in the free space for a distance of 1 kilometer. That means value of small d is given. It is 1 kilometer. So it is 1000 meters. If PT, PT is transmitted power is 10 watt. GT 0, GRE 0, F frequency is 900 megahertz. That means it is 900 into 10 raised to 6 hertz. Uh, we have to calculate the received power. We have the standard formula PR or PR of D. Any notation will do. It is PT, CT, CR. This is GT, CR, lambda square upon 4 pi bracket square into D square. Actually, there is one more term that is L, which is the system loss. Ideally, its value is 1. So, we will not consider it while solving this numerical. Uh, for this to obtain the value of PR, 
we need to know the value of PT which is given. We need to know the value of GT and GR, but given values are zero. Keep in mind, this is a common mistake. GT and GR are gains. These values are given as zero, but they are zero dB. So you need to convert it in normal units. How to convert it? It is zero dB. On the calculator, you will take anti log of this zero. Anti log of the zero dB because zero dB answer is obtained by taking log of some particular value. So very simple trick I am telling you. Whatever values you have given values in dB, convert it into normal units by taking anti log of zero that is equals to one. So actual values of GT and GR are one. F is also given. Now we need to calculate lambda. Lambda is C by F. C is speed of light which is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second upon F. F is 900 into 10 raised to 6. This is the value of uh, uh, lambda. Simply you need to put the values. So PR is value of PT is 10 into GT and GR. We have converted it in terms of uh, normal units by taking anti log. Uh, this is very very important part. If, even if these values are given zero, some other values are given, then also you need to convert it into normal unit by taking its anti log. So put the values, it is 1 into 1 into lambda square. I mean this term I am keeping it as it is 3 into 10 raised to 8 divided by 900 into 10 raised to 6 and this term square, this is lambda square divided by 4 pi square as it is distance. Distance is given as 1 kilometer that is 1000 meters and it's square. If you solve this, then answer of PR that is received power, you will get it as 7.036 into 10 raised to minus 9 watt. This is the power, so it is in watt. But always and always, you need to convert this value in dB. We know the procedure, how to convert it? It is 10 log of this value. So 10 log of 7.036 into 10 raised to minus 9. So if you solve this using the calculator by default log is to the base 10. Answer is minus 81.52 dB. This is the answer of received power in this case. Next problem is if transmitter produces 50 watt of power express it in dB and dB watt. First we will complete this part. Express it in dB m that is milli db and db watt given value is transmitted power that is pt is equals to 50 watt if i will take 10 log of this i will get 10 log of 50 log is by default log to the base uh, 10 so answer will be 16.98 this unit is written as db watt because i have not make make any conversion now I want to calculate the value in dBm. How to do it? So it is 10 log of this value. This value is 50 divided by 1 milliwatt. This is the way how to convert the dB into dBm. That is dB milliwatt. And we know that 1 milliwatt is 10 raised to minus 3 watts. So same equation can be written as 10 log of 50 upon 10 raised to minus 3. In another language, it is written as 10 log of 50 into 10 raised to 3. Now, uh, make the things more simple. Whenever you want to obtain the value in terms of dBm, milliwatt, dB milliwatt, in that case, whatever value you have, in this case it is 50, multiply that value by 10 raised to 3. Answer will be in dBm. So, if you Calculate it on the calculator, its answer will be 46.99. Its unit is dBm, that is uh, milliwatt, milli dB. Next part is if, if 50 watt, that means same power, transmitted power, is applied to unity gain antenna. Now, PT is given as 50 watt unity gain antenna, means GR is equals to 1, GT is equals to 1. This is unity gain antenna. This is unity gain. This value is not given in dB. In the last problem, it was 0 dB. So we converted it into normal unit. This is 1. So we, we don't have to convert it in, uh, in other normal units because already given values are unity means they are in normal units. So find received power in dBm at a distance of uh, uh, 
100 meters so value of small d is 100 meters we have the standard formula pr is equals to pt gt gr lambda square upon 4 pi 4 pi square 4 pi bracket square into d square as i mentioned earlier i don't uh, have to write l because ideally this system loss is one so now put the values so ah, one more thing i need to know the value of lambda lambda is c by f c is the speed of light which is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second f is the operating frequency which is given as 900 megawatt so it is 900 into 10 raised to 6 watt so this answer will be 0.33 so put the values so pt is 50 into 1 into 1 because gtgr is 1 into 0.33 square upon 4 pi bracket square into d square distance is 100 meters so it is 100 square therefore answer of a pr will be 3.488 3.448 into 10 raised to minus 6 watt this is the answer which we got in terms of uh, watt now i want to convert this in terms of milliwatt just now I have told you the simple trick. So PR in dBm is equals to 10 log of. Multiply this value, whatever value you have, that is 3.448 into 10 raised to minus 6. Multiply this value by 1000, that is 10 raised to 3. And do this calculation on the calculator. Answer will be directly in dBm. So this value will be minus 24.8. 62 dBm. This is the final answer which is in terms of dBm. The next problem is calculate front upper distance for an antenna with maximum dimensions of 1 meter. Maximum dimension is denoted by capital D. So given value of D is equals to 1 meter and operating frequency of 900 megahertz. Operating frequency is F which is 900 megahertz which is 900 into 10 raised to 6 hertz. If antenna has unity gain, do remember unity gain means value of GR as well as value of GT. GR is receiving gain of, ant uh, uh, gain of receiving antenna, GT is gain of transmitting antenna, which is one, one more important thing. Keep in mind, it is unity gain. It is not mentioned as unit dB. It is not given in dB, so we don't have to make any conversion. Keep the values as it is. Then calculate the path loss. First, we'll calculate the front upper distance. We have a direct formula. Front upper distance is 2d square upon lambda. But for this, I need to calculate value of lambda. We know that lambda is c by f. c is speed of light, which is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second. Upon value of f, frequency is 900 into 10 raised to 6. So the value of lambda will be 0.33. So put the values in this formula. So I will get. 2 into d is 1, 1 square is 1 upon 0.33. So if you solve this on the calculator, this answer will be 6 meters. Next is path loss in dB. Again, we have a ready made formula. Simply we have to put the values. So it is minus 10 log of gt and gr is 1. So 1 into 1 into 0.33 bracket square upon 4 pi square as it is. This D is same as DF, which is 6 meters, which is 6 square. So if you solve this on the calculator, this answer will be 47 dB. So this is the final answer. So dear students, that's it for today's session. Thank you. Thanks a lot.